everyone this is Pico Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about the issue of race swapping in particular within media and entertainment and whether it actually does more harm than good within the industry and fandom itself. Now we all know what race swapping is in terms of entertainment, changing the ethnicity of established characters normally from adapting well known IPs, novels, comic books etc. Now changing the race of characters within entertainment has always existed for decades but it's something that's now so regular and commonplace, causing so much debate and perceived outrage and controversy amidst social media. Many fans get upset at seeing several changes made to their beloved characters for no justified reason. From my point of view, when it comes to adaptations, I'm always an advocate of staying true to the source. The whole feel of any live action adaptation is seeing what you read or follow come to life on the big screen. Especially when we talk about comic books or fantasy novels, when we look in particular at superhero characters or anime, how often did we look at these concepts when we were growing up, watching them in animated form or comic book form, imagining what exactly would they look like in real life? So when we hear of a live action adaptation, we want it to look exactly like the character we were following for so many years before. If you spent decades reading Iron Man, then going into the movie, you'd want the character to look exactly like Iron Man. So when it does look like Iron Man, it's much more of a thrill and satisfying experience. In this current era of effects and CGI, there's literally no reason why we can't accurately recreate these fictional characters on the big screen. Whether it be a normal human being or a 100 foot monster, being true to these characters and how they look and doing right by the source material also satisfies fans and that's something that we should all want. So equally, you're going to disappoint fans if the character they've been following for many years looks completely different in terms of the adaptation. This will always lead to confusion anger and eventual debate online. Now in terms of stories, there may be certain adjustments that you might need to make in order to make it work in a certain format. But in terms of the look of the character, why make the change? Does changing the race of the character improve them in terms of their story or their legacy or their connection with fans? If all of the answers to these questions is no, then why make the change? If you are changing the race of the character for anything other than these reasons, we then have to ask, is race swapping really the right thing to do? What benefit does it do? What good does it actually do in terms of fandom or indeed the integrity of the character? Now, one of the biggest arguments to try and support race swapping is the fact that it promotes diversity and representation, that changing the race of an iconic character will help attract more demographics and audiences to that overall story. But isn't that insulting the certain demographic that you're trying to appeal to? Aren't you very much making the assumption that the only reason audiences consume entertainment is because of race and not down to the actual story or character? Why would making Superman black encourage more black audiences? Weren't they already drawn to the character in his original form? So why would a race change alter their thinking or their response to the character? Now, if any black audiences feel that Superman is boring as a character, then why would making him black change their minds? Changing the race doesn't indeed alter his powers or his origin or indeed his costume. So what improvement does changing the race of Superman make in terms of the character? Now, in many ways, race swapping can have a negative effect in terms of diversity and representation as you're simply replacing one race with another. And that's not what diversity truly means. So in many ways, you're contradicting the very cause that you're trying to support. Now the other argument for race swapping is why not? Why not change the race of a character? Shouldn't you try to do something different? The character has been long standing for decades so shouldn't we be trying to mix things up and give some more variety to the character? Because that character has grown stale we should do something to really try and make it appeal to new audiences. Well first of all if those are the sort of things that you're saying about the character it's probably because you weren't that invested in the character in the first place. And if you want to reinvigorate the character, if you feel it's becoming stale, doesn't it carry far more weight if you improve much more the storyline and the characterization and indeed the villains and antagonists that that character comes up against? By introducing newer stories and villains which causes the character to change, therefore you introduce new fresh elements which then keeps the character far more interesting. Why does simply a race change make the character more interesting? And if you're looking for it from that point of view, on simply a surface level for being honest, then won't you quickly get bored after the character has stayed in one race or ethnicity after a while? Then what do we do then? Do we change the character's race again and again and then change the character once again? So shortly afterwards, we'll have a character changing multiple ethnicities just because of boredom rather than any progression or evolution in terms of the story. I believe this is the wrong mindset and approach to take in terms of creating or writing these characters. 
Now the reason for this is because you eventually make so many changes to the character, eventually that character becomes unrecognisable. And this is one of the biggest issues in regarding race swapping and changing these iconic characters who have connected with audiences for decades. Now one of the biggest reasons why these characters have lasted so long is because they have an iconic look, they have an iconic image, a style about them that many audiences identify and resonate with. By race changing these characters, you do take away that resonance, therefore damaging the brands and the legacy of the character and also the connection with the fans, which is another reason why I don't believe race swapping is good overall. So let's try and look on the other side of this argument then. Can race swapping actually be a good thing? Can there be a scenario where a race swap of an iconic character can actually prove to be beneficial in terms of the story and the legacy and the status of the character itself? Now I'm sure anybody watching this video will bring up several examples of race changed characters who have proven to be very successful in terms of popular culture. Now one of the biggest examples is of course Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury from the Avengers. Now Nick Fury, for anybody who doesn't know, was originally a white character. Now he was eventually race changed in I believe it was the ultimate universe of Marvel and this is the version that the MCU took on in terms of the character and no doubt about it Samuel L. Jackson has proven to be very popular as one of the most established characters within the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Nick Fury. But did the race change really improve on the character of Nick Fury? If we had an Avengers movie where Nick Fury originally was white would that have lessened the story or the characterization or indeed the universe itself. So that's really the overall question we should be asking when we bring up the likes of Nick Fury in terms to counteract this argument. Now for me, the only way that I see that race swapping actually works is indeed if it's an actual Elseworld story or an alternate reality, we have a scenario that is clearly defined as having no real effect on the iconic established version of the character or the overall universe that that iconic character currently exists in. The race swap character is completely separate on its own. Now just because it's separate, you still have to generate a great story and characterization. And that should be the standard for any character, whether it's iconic version or a race swapped version. In general, we should always expect great stories and great characterization. But the point is, even if you are using an Elseworld story or an alternate reality, just simply changing the race of the character isn't enough. You still have to do a lot more in terms of writing the character and building the foundation in order to, to be successful. Now, the race change of a character may generate some sort of interest in the short term, but as I mentioned before, if that's your opening statement, if that's your opening intention, concentrating on the character's race, then how long will it be before people get bored of the character if they don't indeed have any interest in story of development? So in many ways, it surely is beneficial from a longer term strategy if you want an iconic character to last or be current within the climate to make sure that they have a stronger story and good writing and a universe rather than just simply changing the ethnicity. So then in short, to close out this debate overall, asking whether race swapping characters does indeed do more good or more damage, I'd say overall it actually does more damage because of the fact that it affects the iconic status of the character, the fact that it also insults the demographic that you're trying to appeal to, assuming that they care much more about the race than actual storytelling and that they will simply rush along like sheep just because you change the race of the character. The actual fact is that many demographics would rather see the original ethnicity of the character be retained in order for that character to break through rather than race swapping the iconic characters. I also feel that race swapping does cause unnecessary toxicity and outrage and negativity amongst social media leading to endless discussions about wokeness and tokenization which takes away from the discussions that I feel we should be having in terms of talking about the characters stories and the great villains and characters that they come across. So I'm more than happy to discuss further but my ultimate counter argument to any supporting of race swapping is does changing the race of a character make the story impact or the legacy of the character any better? If the answer is no, then why race swap the character in the first place? As maintaining or improving the story and legacy of the character should always take priority over pushing any agenda or any publicity stunts to try and cause an increase in sales. And that's why I ultimately believe that race swapping of characters ultimately does more harm than good in terms of entertainment and fandom and legacy as well. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings and views 
on race swapping characters within entertainment let me know what you think in the comments below i'm more than happy to debate about this and have further discussions and if anybody raises any more interesting arguments then by all means i will make a supplementary video supporting this one as well if you'd like to see me cover any more topics like this within entertainment then also let me know in the comments and i'll provide more quality videos and commentary also Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves, stay in safe distances, and I will see you very, very soon.